With task forget method in place, it's time to write our first convenience function. Before we start coding, I want to show you some small changes I made in the direction that we're going. Here in the login view controller, I ultimately just want to make a single call to the API client. And this call will let us authenticate and then access the app and complete the login. And if we look at this authenticate with view controller, what I'm doing is I'm assuming at some point in time we'll get a completion handler back with a success and error string. So if success is true, then that means the authentication worked and we can complete the login. Otherwise, we'll display an error. If we dig into this method, we can see that the first step of authenticate with view controller is to get the request token. And this get request token just happens to be our first convenience method, which I want you to implement in this exercise. First, make sure that you've checked out the most recent Git branch that's mentioned in the instructor notes. Then you'll want to implement the get request token convenience function that makes use of the task for get method. To do this, you'll want to follow the three-step process outlined for convenience functions. In this case, get convenience functions. First, specify the parameters and the method. Then, call the task for get method. Last, extract the desired values from the JSON data and then return it in the completion handler. If you do all this correctly, then the request token will be printed out. When you're done, check this box.